Kane Distillery. My name is Patrick Fox. Uh, we're actually located in the heart of the Vine Valley here in Ireland, in County Meath. Uh, right across the road from us, there's actually Slane Castle, which is a famous rock venue in Ireland. There's big rock concerts every two years, and it fits about 80,000 people to 100,000 people, so come on and see one of them as well. But the distillery itself is actually located in the stable block of the castle. We're tied with Brown Foreman, which is our parent company. They own the likes of Jack Daniels and Herodor Tequila and El Himador Tequila, as well as a few other wineries and stuff like that around the world. So, how did all this come to happen? Well, Alex, our co-founder, he wanted to set up whiskey. He's very passionate about whiskey and also very passionate about sherry, which is why we're triple cask whiskey and we use sherry casks as well. But himself and the two men called Steve Hughes and Chris Morris all joined together and became the co-founders of Slain, Slain Irish Whiskey. And since then, Brown Foreman have, have powered through and made it so that this is one of our most popular whiskies at the moment. And then this is the castle here. And then this is our, this is where the rock concert would be. So that's where the stage is. And then the people would fit here in this field here. About 100,000 people fit in there. It's, it's crazy, but it happens every two years, so it's not too much of a panic or anything like that. The village of Slane is about two minutes in that direction. And you can also see the hill of Slane, and that overlooks the whole village. And that's quite important for St. Patrick and stuff like that as well in our, in our religious history as, as a country. We have about 1,500 acres of land that we can grow the barley on to make all of our whiskey here as well. And then you have the River Boyne, which is our main source of water. But we take the water out of the Boyne and we purify it and use it to make the whiskey. And then we replenish it back in with 100% clean water that we're after purifying through the, through the uh, distillery. So this distillery has been open since 2017, since September of 2017. And it's still running strong today, yeah. So September, uh, but it's been in, it's they've been building it probably for the last three years to be quite honest with you but the stable blocks themselves are about 250 years old our first bottling well we've we've done a a blend over in our in our filling station the only thing is and that's gone to bottling and everything already but it's not made with whiskey that's been distilled on site at the moment we're distilling st uh, single malt but that's going to take 12 years for that to age correctly so that's going to take 12 years before that hits a bottle. So we're waiting to see the other uh, whiskies that come through and how long it'll take for them to bottle from on site. We're going to have three different types. So the single, single malt is what we're working on at the moment. But then we're going to have the uh, grain whiskey. We're going to make our own grain whiskey here as well, as well as a pot still whiskey as well. So we're going to have three different types of whiskey and that's going to allow us to have different experimentations with different blends as well. It's a quick way to make money back on what you're, on what you're producing. We actually didn't, have, we didn't do that. We just started off making whiskey because Alex is so passionate about just whiskey alone that he wanted to keep going with just whiskey. And Brown Foreman, they said, fine, that's okay, you make whiskey. If you're going to make whiskey, make it right and do it, do it from the start. So that's why we don't do a gin or a vodka just yet. We have three different casks. We're triple cast whiskey. So we have a virgin cask, meaning no other liquid has ever been in, just our own. And we have a Jack Daniels cask. So Jack can only use their barrels once in their lifetime. After that, they get, we take them in and we can use them again. And then we also use a sherry cask. And it matures in all three of them. And then gets blended together to make, the, to make slain whiskey as it is today, as the blend is today. They can actually do weddings and stuff like that there, but there's also a tour of there every day as well. So they run for 45 minutes on the tour. And there's also a restaurant that you can come and just have a, have a bite to eat and a bar that you can just have a drink in as well. So you, you can just kind of come down even without coming to the concert, just come and see the concert, just come and see the castle itself.